Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Sonar Cube. What it is, why one should use Sonar Cube and how we can use it. And then also we are going to develop a Spring Boot application and then we'll try to see how we can integrate Sonar Cube in our Spring Boot application. So this is what we are going to discuss in this video. So let's get started for that. And let me try to go to the next slide to discuss about Sonar Cube. So what is Sonar Cube? Sonar Cube is an open source platform used for continuous inspection of code quality. So you can see that it is nothing but it is an open source platform that helps us in continuous inspection of code quality. So whatever application we have developed, it will try to help us in inspection of the code quality that we have in our application. It performs automatic review of code to detect bugs. It also detects code smells and security vulnerabilities. The tool supports various programming languages including Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, PHP, Python and many more. So we are going to discuss more uh, on this Sonar Cube and we are going to develop a Spring Boot application. So this is what Sonar Cube is. It is nothing but it is an open source platform that help us in inspection of our code quality. It performs automatic review of code to detect bugs, code smells and security vulnerabilities. So this is about the Sonar Cube. Now let me try to go to the next slide to discuss about key features of Sonar Cube. So these are the key features I have listed out. Static code analysis code quality metrics, security analysis, integration with CI, CD, customizable rules, quality gates. So let me try to brief you each security features, each features that are uh, provided by the sonar cubes one by one. The first one is static code analysis. It analyzes source code to identify quality issues without executing the program. Okay, so that is what the first uh, feature is. You have your application ready and it won't execute your application that you developed. It statically analyzes the code quality and identify the code quality issues without executing them. That is what static code analysis is. The second feature is code quality metrics. It provides matrices on code complexity, duplication, coverage and maintainability. So let's say you develop your application and there is a, like there are the part of your programs that are more complex and that can be breaked into the simpler programs, right? So it also analyzes that things and suggest you the code that you need to write at the place of that. It also give you the duplication that you did, the coverage and maintainability, everything it provides. It provides the metrics for all of them. Now the third feature is security analysis. It detects potential vulnerabilities and security issue in the code. So let's say some, so like you're using some uh, version of uh, some library and that library has some vulnerabilities. So it will identify and just give you the notification of that, okay? So it detects potential vulnerabilities and security issue in the code. The fourth, feature is integration with CI CD integrates it integrates seamlessly with the continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines like Jenkins GitLab CI or Travis CI so it can be integrated with the CI CD pipelines like Jenkins pipeline or github action so there are so many pipelines are there you can seamlessly integrate it out there itself so let's say you develop your code you push your code to the git and from there, once your build is being triggered in the Jenkins, it will automatically uh, try to do the checks at the Jenkins level itself. If you have integrated your Sonar Cube at the Jenkins. Okay. Now the fifth feature is customizable rules. It allows customization of rules and quality profiles according to the project needs. Okay. So there are the customization that you can do. Now the last feature is quality gates it sets threshold for quality code quality metrics which can be used 
to enforce quality standard before code is merged or deployed. So you can set the quality metrics and according to that uh, you can merge or deploy your code. So this is about Sonar Cube and these are the features that it brings to your application. Now go to the next slide to discuss about why one should use the Sonar Cube. So the first one is it improves code quality. It helps maintain high standard of code quality by continuously monitoring and reporting the issues. So it let's say you develop your application and don't know uh, the code quality of, of your application, then you can integrate this Sonar Cube in your application and then it will continuously monitor and report the issue that you have in your application, in your code. Okay. So it helps maintain high standard of code quality by continuously monitoring and reporting the issue in your code base. Now, the second thing is early detection of issue. It identifies potential problems early in the development process itself, reducing the cost and effort needed to fix them later on. That is a good part. Now the next thing is enhanced security. It provides security insight and identifies vulnerabilities that could be exploited. Okay. Now the next feature is maintainability. It encourages writing clean, maintainable and reliable code. Now the next feature is team collaboration. It, fa it facilitates better collaboration among team members by providing clear and actionable feedback on code quality. So these are the features uh, and these are the things that one should keep in mind in order to uh, implement this on our give. So why one should use it out? These are the features that you can list it out. Now go to the next slide and how we can use this sonar cube in our applications you could say. So the first thing is you have to install it out. Either you can put this sonar cube at your CI CD pipelines like Jenkins or GitHub Action or something else. Or if you want to try it out locally, then this, this is also can be done. Okay, how you can locally install it out, that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So, we are going to install this Sonar Cube on our Docker machine using the Docker Compose file. I have one file where I have listed down all the commands that we need in order to install the Sonar Cube on our Docker machine. So, we are going to use the Docker desktop to install the Sonar Cube. After the installations, uh, these are the steps one should perform in order to uh, Go to this Sonar Cube cons uh, like uh, prof Sonar Cube. So now comes the next step: how we can use the Sonar Cube. So before going to you see how we can use the Sonar Cube in our application, first of all we are going to see how we can install it out. So there is a way like you can install the Sonar Cube plugin at your CI CD pipeline itself so that those checks can be done at the time of your continuous integration and continuous deployment. Or if you want to have it locally and test it out on your application, then there is a way. You can install it out on the Docker machine. So I have created a Docker Compose file using that we can install our Sonar Cube on the Docker machine. Once it is installed, we can log into the Sonar Cube. We have to create some project there and then it will give you some uh, tokens and the key that you have to use in your application in order to integrate your application with the Sonar Cube. So those things we are going to discuss that. So let me try to brief you how you can use it out in your application. So the first thing is you have to install it. And then once you install it out, you have to log into the Sonar Cube portal. And here is the uh, place where you can go, like you can go to the localhost 9000. And there it will open up the Sonar Cube portal for you. It will ask you for the username and the password. For the first time, if you are doing it out, you can provide the username and password as admin. And then after that, it will ask you to change the, let me try to, yeah, the second step is you have to change the default password uh, so the login 
username would be the admin itself, but you have to change the password. So with that password, you can log in for the next time, the change password. Now, the next step is you have to, once you log into the SonarCube portal, what you have to do is you have to create a project. Okay, so go navigate to the projects and then create a new project. Select project details. Enter the name of your project. Enter the unique project name or unique project key. You can say the project key is a unique identifier for your, for your project in the SonarCube. So you have to enter the name of your project. You have to provide a unique key for that particular project and then you have to generate the token for it. Once the token is generated, keep it somewhere secure place. Then you can use it later on where you want to integrate it out in your application. So this is how you have to uh, follow the steps. So you have to log. First of all, you have to install the Sonar Cube. Then you have to log into the Sonar Cube portal. Then you have to create a project, generate the key out of it, and then keep that key at the secure place. Now the next step is how you can configure the build tool. So let's say you develop your app, Spring Boot application and you are using Maven as a build build tool there. Then in your pom.xml file, you have to add this in your properties. Like you have to provide where your Sonar Cube is up and running, its URL like localhost 9000 and generated token and the project key. And then you can run this command called mvn clean install Sonar Sonar. After that, you will find uh, it will uh, route you back to your uh, Sonar Cube and then you can check out like after the analysis completes go back to the sonar cube web interface navigate to your project dashboard to view the detailed analysis result including detected bugs vulnerability and the code smell so once you have run this command on your application and then you can go to your sonar cube portal you can go to your project that you created in the sonar cube and then inside that you can check out your analysis that the sonar cube already did and then you can check out that result it will give you the result for the detected bugs vulnerabilities and the code smells that you have so this is how you can use the sonar cube now everything we have discussed here what we are going to do is uh, the first of all we are going to install the sonar cube on our local machine using docker compose file so this is about the video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install it out. And then later on, in the upcoming video, we'll try to see how we can create the project in the Sonar Cube and how we can use it out in your Spring Boot application. So that is what we are going to discuss in this uh, next two videos. So this is about the video, guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And please subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks.